All new tonight, Madison Town Beaches reopened at noon today. That's after crews spent days clearing debris from along the shoreline. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Schuler brings us to Madison, where beaches were impacted by tons of debris on land. On a typical Saturday, the beaches here in Madison would be packed, but as you can see right now, they're pretty empty. Crews were out early this morning picking up any of the remaining debris, but the problem isn't just on the shoreline. It's also in the Long Island Sound. Fishermen we spoke to say they're more feeding the fish than actually catching them. There's a lot of mud and turbidity in the water, so it's 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 affecting the fishing in some way. But and, there, and there's a lot of debris. Bruce Wilson and Richard Stenhouse are throwing their lines out and patiently waiting for a bite. I'm feeding the fish. <laughs> They've come close to a catch, but the water seems to be as quiet as the land. We haven't gone for a while, so we just thought we'd come and try it. It's quiet. It's beautiful. Early this morning, crews continued to clean up debris along the shoreline. After heavy rainfall and flooding, debris was pulled into the Connecticut River and continued to the Long Island Sound. In some areas, there are more pieces of tree limbs and trunks than there are seashells. If you go out on the pier, there's, you know, tons of logs kind of floating in the water. And if you look around the corner, um, there's a lot of, like, really big logs there. And it looks like they might have cut one up here, too. There's sawdust. Caitlin Malachi took her family to the beach despite the early morning closures of East Wharf Beach. She says the quiet beach is relaxing, and the kids, they don't mind it either. How has the beach been today? Good. Have you been able to go on the water at all? No. By noon, crews were done with cleanup in Madison, and people could get back in the water. In the next several days, there's more rain on the way, which means there could also be more flooding. We have a full list of the beaches that are closed in the state on our website or on the Channel 3 News app. In Madison, Olivia Schuler, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.